JB, that's right. The marker was put up in Concord for Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, installed in May, but removed after two executive council members said the marker promoted communist propaganda. Now community members are pushing back, saying they want the marker put back up. It was done wrongfully, illegally, unilaterally, arbitrarily, and it needs to be returned. Mary Lee Sargent and Arnie Alpert filing a lawsuit against the state, outraged at the removal of a historical marker advocating for its return. We're hoping that the court orders the state to put the marker back because we followed all the rules to get it installed and they violated the rules to have it removed. The marker was put up at the beginning of May for New Hampshire native Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, but removed days later after sparking controversy from two executive council members. They say it promotes communist propaganda because of Flynn's ties to the former Soviet Union. She died there and was honored with a state funeral. Sergeant, now one of the neighbors installing yard signs with a picture of the marker in support of it. I taught college history for over 45 years and I taught women's history and to have women's history just uh, erased and progressive history. I mean, this woman is primarily known as caring about workers. Governor Chris Sununu sending a statement to News 9 saying in part, an avowed communist who benefited from a state funeral in Moscow's Red Square should not be celebrated in New Hampshire. All policies were followed when removing this anti-American sign and it will not be coming back under my watch. Now, the attorney general's office, which handles the state's civil cases, says it will review their complaint and respond as appropriate in court. In the studio, Marissa Tancino, WMUR News 9.